Hello guys, in this video I will show you seven examples of what you can customize in the global search that you see on the top right here. So for example, you search for Brandon and then you get the results of customer record, orders records and others. So how to filter more data, show more data and customize more things. That's all in this video. Let's dive in. So first the example and then we'll dive into the code what was actually customized here. So in the list of customers here we have Nicole as a customer and if we perform the global search by Nicole here, what do we see here? The customer is found with a few extra fields and also orders of that customer. So how does it all look in the code with those extra fields also shown as well? So let's take a look at customer resource and then I'll show you the same functions, the same features in other resources as well. So what can we customize? What do we search by? So name and email are the fields. So if we try to, for example, do func here, the email is also matching. So this is the condition to search by. Then search result title, what does that mean? It's this exact line in bold. This is the title, so you can customize that. For example, if we go and change it to record email and try to search for funk again, the title is changed. So let's roll back that one and then get global search result details. Those details are the things that you see below email and type. So basically any extra attributes about the record that you want to show. Then also you may customize the URL. So where does it lead to the edit page, to the view page or something like that. So in this case, the link will go to edit page because it's customized here. And then finally in this customer resource, this is how you would customize the roles and permissions. This is kind of a trick one way. So if some user doesn't have access to search for specifically customers in global search, then you can add a dummy condition, which would get the full query to basically return nothing. So you don't actually disable the global search for that user, but you disable specifically searching for customers. So other models would be searched successfully, but you just add this false condition to the eloquent query. And then if we take a look at similar structure in other resources, so in order resources, for example, globally searchable attributes, did you know you can provide the relationship as well? So this is how the orders by that customer are also appearing. So this is the title, these are the details, and again, relationship can be present here. And also you can perform some formatting here then the URL and then the query. And here in the query, you can also perform eager loading as well with customer. But the logic of roles and permissions is the same. So this is order resource and also very similar product resource, attributes, name and status, title, name. These are the details and then the URL and eloquent query. But this is not all. This is how much you can customize in the resource individually, but also in the global admin panel provider for global search key, you may define, for example, these three things. First thing, key bindings. So if I hit Command K on my MacBook Pro, I immediately land here and can start typing. So the key bindings are assigned in admin panel providers and Command K and Control K are pretty typical all over the web that I've seen online. Also that binding suffix method would show visually this Command K in the input area. So if you do that, comment that out, you refresh, then that is not appearing anymore. So this is a good kind of hint for the users. And also finally, global search debounds. If we go to the documentation of global search, the debounce by default is 500 milliseconds. So this is the time that is passed after you type some character, some letter, and then the search is actually performed in 300 milliseconds if we define that, or by default, it is a bit longer 500 milliseconds and you may make it longer or shorter depending on how much you want to save on bandwidth and database queries versus how much you want to save on user experience. The decision is yours. So yeah, these are the things you can customize in global search. And of course, I recommend you to read the full doc page, docs page documentation on global search. I will link that in the description below. What do you think? Have you learned anything new or what other tricks you know about global search or any problems you have with that? Put all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.